to visit the border wall. Well, somehow I feel like we're being watched right now. I'm sure we are. <laughs> to make a long journey across the desert, climb up this wall. We're Michael and Holof. World travelers, oh avid scuba divers, and food lovers. <laughs> We quit our jobs in 2019 to travel the world full time. Mission success. Unfortunately, in 2020, we had to fly back home to the States due to the COVID pandemic. So, we bought a camper van, adopted a sweet German shepherd named Kana, and now the three of us continue on with our full time travel around North America in our home on wheels. Previously, we discovered Ow. that saguaro cactus spikes yeah. are not fun to walk yeah. on. No, don't eat it. Pull it out. Yeah. Ow, 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 good ow, girl, ow, good ow, girl, ow. good girl. We got it. We got decided to buy a pair of dog booties. Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> but Kana is adjusting really well with her new walking boots. It's a boot training. She's doing really well with these. There's a lot of stabby things right below her feet, and now it's not bothering her a bit. And we continue on with our exploration of Arizona. I just learned something today. We're at a Chevron here in Tucson, and as I was pumping our gas for 250.9 a gallon, I was reading this little piece of information right here. The 250 per gallon is for commercial vehicles, typically vehicles over 26,000 pounds, more than three axles, or bulk tank storage. If you are driving a regular vehicle, the price for diesel is actually reduced by 8 cents a gallon. So you have to go inside and claim your rebate. What's that? This is $1.26. I, I, I never knew it. Nobody ever reads it. Nobody ever pays attention. Yeah, that's this. what she said to me. She said, she said, we just turned into Highway 19 south of Tucson. And this is a very unique highway. Hmm. What's KM? I wonder. Kilometers, huh? Uh, All the distances are listed in kilometers. Isn't it funny? The only metric highway in the United States. Weird. So who's gonna spot the first metric? When completed in the early 1960s, Interstate 19 was designed to be the first metric highway in the United States, after the push towards using the metric system in this country. But, as we now know, that trend never quite caught on, and the local officials decided to keep the signage system intact along I-19 anyway. And again, you've dragged me someplace. It's a good thing it's only a minute out of the way. That's one big-ass cow, though. Holy crap. Longhorn! Super longhorn. More Texas Day in Arizona, is it? Come on. Go back in. Good girl. She's back now. There are two historic sites along I-19 that you just have to see. First, we visited the 17th century Spanish colonial mission of Tumacacori. It's a national historic park, and we saw the abandoned mission church of San Jose there. Also, the active San Xavier de Bac mission that was completed about the same time as Tumacacori. But our main destination today is this hidden gem for camping at Madera Canyon. Hey, Mr. Skunk. Cute. Yeah, cute until he pees on you. Speak. Okay. The last thing we want to do is uh, mess with a skunk. Yeah. This is the Proctor Road dispersed camping area. I think some animal had its way with a deer here. It's like not too long ago. I'm assuming that that's a deer spine. Wow. I don't want her to encounter whatever did that. I think we'll bring Kana in at night. <laughs> so Holif has made us dinner. We have fried pork chops, cast iron grill, potatoes and broccoli, and some mushrooms and onions. I actually made this stuff. Good job, Holif. Thank you. As always, we enjoy our evenings camping out on public lands. This is the American cow and a dog keeping a wary eye. Will he try to get up on the bird feeder? She knows she's been noticed. 
Is she going to eat the bag of dog poop? <laughs> Uh-oh. She wants to play with Kana's toys. Yeah, don't step on the carpet. Everybody needs energy. He's a redhead. Pretty. Kana, bring it here. This is where we've been staying the past couple nights. We are in the public land or BLM, which is Borough Land Management Site called the Gun Site Wash. Not too far away from the Mexican border. It's very quiet, a lot of wildlife. We are going to make breakfast burrito. Yum. We're going to make a breakfast burrito. Yeah. We're going to start, a, I took out some sausage. This turned out not too bad. I got it a little burnt on the outside. That's because I hesitated to flip it over. I left it a little bit too long. But otherwise, you can do these perfectly fine on a cast iron grill. Just make sure that grill is not too, too hot. Draining out the... The bird feeder, yeah. And a hummingbird was just coming to the feeder. Oh. Yeah, I know. Too bad, so sad. I have to get your food elsewhere. So as I'm cleaning up my bird feeders here, I'm just going to explain what we're doing today. Today, we are going to go to a place called Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. While we're there, we're also going to visit the border wall. So, got my bird feeder cleaned up. The birds are all upset at me now that I've taken over away all their food. So I guess we can go before we get some hate coming to our way. You ready to go, Kana? Huh? You ready to go? Get a wag your tail, huh? You get a wag your tail. Good girl. The next national park site that we're visiting is this Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. It is really cool because now you see all the kind of cactus, not just Suaro, but also the Organ Pipe Cactus. And right behind me is the namesake of the park itself, the Organ Pipe Cactus. At night, these things bloom, so that's the way they preserve the moisture and close up before the sun comes out. We started off here at the Chris Egel Visitor Center. It was named to honor a slain park ranger doing his duty in 2002. As always, the NPS staff are super helpful with planning our day at Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Right here we have a dead saguaro cactus. Hollis and I are both divers, and if you look down here, you'll see the spiky remnants of what's left over. It almost looks like sea urchins coming in to feed off what's left of a dead body at the bottom of the ocean. Interesting skeleton, huh? Yeah, it looks like it was cut down intentionally. But it's kind of neat that they left the stump here so you could actually see. Sure thing. Yeah. This is an ashtray in its natural habitat. Oh, I fine know. specimen. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, rubber made. Uh. It says that there are Africanized honeybees here in this area. Those are the real aggressive ones. There's a lot of bees around here right now, but they're mostly honeybees because they're not aggressive. I'm not scared of Africanized honeybees. After seeing murder hornets, nothing scares me. If I see a murder hornet, I'm out of here. <laughs> I think I said this in our last video or the one we did at Saguaro. That's my favorite looking cactus. You see them as you're driving down the road and sometimes you see them in clusters. I bet you they look really nice after rain glistening. But when you get right up close to them, that stuff is all stabby. <laughs> I feel like after this trip, we're gonna be an expert in cactus. <laughs> yeah, in cactus, bot uh, cactus, what is it, the botany? Cactusology. Cactus, cactology. Cactology. I get a better appreciation of desert. How about that? You know, living in the South during the fall, you talk about all the leaves that are falling and they're brown and damp and they're kind of icky. And you realize how good you got it because the things that fall on the ground here are far more dangerous than a few brown wet leaves. I wouldn't want to walk through that. <laughs> they grow slow for sure. Because they can get up to 200 years old. Oh, cactus, I love you. Ow. Oh. Ow. <laughs> My new saguaro buddy. Maybe we should do like a baby saguaro song. Baby saguaro, baby saguaro. <laughs> really hug it. I'll give you 20 bucks. Really? No. So we got introduced to this particular plant right here in South Texas, in Terlingua. And it just looked like a bunch of dead trunks. But this is the first time I've ever seen green. Coach whip cactus, according to the sign, it says that in the past 48 hours, it actually rained here. Therefore, they grew a bunch of leaves. Pretty neat. What's this place called? Ajo Mountain Trail. It is a 21 mile loop where you can 
just to see all this beautiful stuff and that incredible mountain ahead of us, which I'm assuming is Ajo Mountain. Yep, one way to enjoy this national monument is this rugged Ajo Mountain Drive to showcase some of the amazing desert landscapes. There is so much spectacular plant diversity throughout the drive, as well as dramatic landscapes, valleys, and peaks. We highly recommend that you do this drive if you're in the area. Although, driving in the desert and sands means that you have to be ready for this. It makes the van so dirty. Look at this. Dang. It's a double arches, isn't it? It looked like a man-made because it looked like it might have been something there to support the arch. But now I looked at it, it's just a piece of really thin rock going from one side to the other. Another day in Arizona. Another border patrol <laughs> checkpoint. Easy breezy for us. X-ray machine. Are these also happening in the northern frontier, like in Long Canada border? Not that I've ever heard of. I don't think so. That's a park ranger. With the border with Mexico so close, it's time to check out the small border town of Lukeville. Detention center. Yeah, it looks like a detention center, which I'm sure every one of these border crossings has. Gas station. There's nothing much in Lukeville. Okay. On the map, it looked like it was a little town, but I guess not. Just a little RV park. Yeah. Your first reaction, what do you think? This is it. Folks, your tax dollars at work, keeping Americans out of Mexico. I think this was constructed for a while. It's not just happened in the last right. few years. As corny as it sounds, this is actually a dangerous place according to the National Park Service. So we have to be careful, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we just found a bullet casing on the ground too. My attempt at a wall scaling <laughs> might be a little more dangerous than I thought. Somehow I feel like we're being watched right now. I'm sure we are. I am absolutely 100% sure we are. All right, but we're gonna try to get closer to the wall, aka fans. And I assume people don't want you to drive on this road. Oop. A lot of construction activities. The notorious border wall, or in most cases, border fence. You've seen it enough on TV and in the news, but there's nothing like seeing and touching it in person. As good as the food might be across the border, I've decided not to climb the border wall. It's just too rusty. That's the only reason. <laughs> Is it electrified? <laughs> nope, it's not. You know, I sort of feel like it could fit a small baby through there. I'm gonna touch Mexico. I'm in Mexico, sort of. You know, after seeing things like this, I can't imagine the journey that people have to take. And sometimes they perish in this kind of environment. It's actually pretty tall. I'm sure I can climb it. Can you even try to climb up? I don't think I could. <laughs> yeah, dino. Dino it, Michael. I'm gonna dino it. No, it's a little bit more than a V1. I got a feeling that there are people that could do that, though. I'm just not one of them, so. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, you're more nimble than I am. Yeah, you're right. Hello? Anybody over there? Nobody's crossing today. Oh, I'm sure there's people crossing today, just not here. All right, have you seen enough? Yeah. All right, time to go see if our truck is still there. Black water jug. Immigration inspection. How you doing today, sir? Good. All oh, right. Is it just you two in the vehicle? Just us and the dog. All oh, that. Fair enough. Everyone in the vehicle, U.S. citizen. You guys have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys too. Our van life journey in Arizona continues. So click on the subscribe button to follow along, as well as hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Uh, and it's about three hours away from Oregon Pike National. Oregon Pike Cactus National, my God, they got some big long names for national parks. Oregon Pike Cactus National Monument. It's always nice when the border agent's kind of hot. You want me to put this in a video? Sure. All right.